What's up is why you've been lying to me for 11 years telling me that DJ is my real son. Why you been lying to me? What are they lying about? I got a DNA test done. A DNA saying what? Saying that he's not my son. Let me see this DNA test. You don't need to see it. I saw it. How DNA test is going to say How you going to be lying to me for 11 years? Why would you do that to me? Who? Where's the lie? The I lie is you. DNA you test. are the lie. You have been lying to me for 11 years, having me believe that my son that I've been raising for 11 years is not really my son. Like, how could you do that to me? Like, what, what can you say for yourself right now? What made you get a DNA test? Because I went through your phone. And why? Talking about me, laughing and bragging, telling your friends that I have no idea that he's really not my son. So I went and got a DNA test done. Like, you think I'm stupid or something? Like, how could you do this to me? You know what? What? You DNA care more about me going son. through your phone than you lying to me about... Some, my son I not being mine? Are you kidding me right now? Lie. Are you kidding me right now? You care more about being humiliated and me finding out that, that our son is not really my son and that he has him? a different you father. I sure him? have because I thought he was my son. Because you've been lying to me this whole time. What are you talking about? Does it matter? It does, does matter. matter. Are you crazy? What do you mean? That absolutely matters. Like, you don't see anything wrong with what you did? You don't see anything wrong with what you did? You've been lying to me? You've been sitting here lying to me for a for living? Of course I love him, but, I can't, but you guys can't stay. You can't stay here anymore. What are we going to love? I don't know. It's not my problem. 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 You can't stay here. You can't stay here. You can't stay here. You can't, I don't know. It's not my problem. I did my job. I did my job. I did my job as a dad. I did my job as a dad. You can't stay here anymore. Y'all gotta go. Both y'all, y'all can't stay anymore. No, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. Y'all can't stay here anymore. Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta get y'all house. Y'all gotta go. I can't deal with it. I'm putting y'all out. Yes. I'm gonna put you out. I, I'm gonna put you out. I'm gonna. I will pack your bags myself and put you out of here. I will pack your ass. Y'all can't stay here. You gotta go. You got. You lied to me. You lied to me. You lied to me for 11 years. For 11 years straight, you lied to me. Having me believe that he's my son. No, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta get up out of here. You gotta get up out of here. No, I can't look at you. I can't look at. No. Y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta go. No. Before I do something crazy, I'm gonna regret. Yes. Yes. Lie to me. You lied. Hi guys, so I wanted to come on here really quickly to give my two cents about this video. You see, this right here is what you call wickedness, selfishness, and irresponsibility on the part of a woman. Like sometimes I get comments in my comment section where women are saying that men are terrible. Men just want to see something in a skirt and oh and how they'll sleep with anything that moves and i try to tell these women it goes both ways you have terrible men out there as well as you have terrible women out there because look at this this is a woman that didn't even think about how her actions would destroy her home how her actions would destroy her child's life and they always blame men that men always want men are the one that always want to sleep around and men are the ones that are thinking with their small brains but it seems as if this woman was only thinking with her coochie as well she never thought about how her action would affect her child and how it would destroy her home so that's why i'm not into this whole sisterhood a type of agenda where women just completely bash men as if they are the only ones that do messed up stuff as if they are the only ones that break up a home and if they are the only ones that lie this is a perfect example of a woman who didn't give two cents about how her actions would affect her home or her child and then on top of that she had the gall she had the audacity she had the effrontery to want to shame the man to let the man feel guilty for her actions 
and she's up here talking like she thinks she's right like why did he go into her phone da 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 and i'm like this is a woman that has no remorse this is a woman that she doesn't even sound like like she's reasonable she doesn't even sound like like she has sense like you got caught doing something so egregious and you're gonna want to turn around and blame the man for going into your phone it's obvious that she she never she doesn't even feel any remorse for what she has done because instead of her you know putting her tail between her legs and you know asking for forgiveness or apologizing she's turning it around on him to you know slur shame insult guilt like he should be the one feeling guilty about something like ladies like come on we have to do better because this is nonsense i feel so horrible for the brother because you can feel the pain you can hear the pain in his voice like come on ladies you have to take accountability for your actions as well you have to take responsibility for your actions it's not just men alone that are out there doing wrong you have a lot of women out there doing wrong as well so stop always coming together and coming in, in, in into this sisterhood of oh men are this men are that it's obvious that you have women out there that are horrible people as well and you have people in the comment section saying that oh he shouldn't put her out oh he shouldn't put the child out yada 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 like seriously people a man does not deal with betrayal the same way a woman does like a man cannot deal with betrayal the same way a woman does especially if he's there providing and protecting and thinking that she's loyal and he has his family and he's doing what he has to do out there for his family and only to know that the woman that he probably has up in high regard has been sleeping around or probably you know and the worst betrayal of it all is to give him a child that is not even his and you want him to still be under the same roof with her like she should have thought of how this would affect her child and i don't think you can fault him for that like he has the right to feel how he needs to feel based on what has happened to him like seriously women should stop coming there and you know lock hands with another sister and it's all about the sisterhood no when a woman is wrong when your sister is wrong you need to let her know she's wrong that's what a sisterhood should be about not condoning the wrong the evil the selfishness and the irresponsibility of another sister that's not a sisterhood ladies you have to do better we have to do better and we need to stop blaming men for everything the breakdown of the families the breakdown of the relationship the breakdown of the marriages because it's obvious women are out there doing the same thing and sometimes even worse so stop having a one-sided discussion where we blame men for every single thing because it's obvious from this little clip here this little video that women are out there doing the same thing and causing the same devastation and destruction to families marriages and relationships anyways thank you guys for listening and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to my channel for more content like this until next time Take care of yourselves and each other.